What's up guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Welcome to the epilogue. So this is still a part of the story. It's kind of like after the end. You guys know what I'm talking about in the last episode, but uh, we're back. That was close. And we're here with John. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did, but I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. <sighs> okay. Let's see what we can find in, in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. <laughs> the books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. <laughs> Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur, and there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere, and a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Oh, it's a shout to Arthur. <laughs> Makes me sad, man, but uh, it's crazy. Look how big Jack is. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. It's been a long time since we've been back to Strawberry, too. Here we are. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. <laughs> Grave digging or... Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. <laughs> See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. All right. John Marston, the shopkeeper. Help you, son? Applying uh, for jobs. I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest, and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Now I guess we're a, uh, a grocery delivery boy? <laughs> this is 
kind of funny. Going to the doctor's office. Why is she at the doctor? Thank you, doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> She's a true ride or die. We went from scavenging the countryside, living off the land, crazy, making bunches of money and getting in trouble in shootouts and everything, and now she's down to settle down and good, live a normal life. Good. All right. You ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. I can't promise that. Deliver the goods to Pronghorn Ranch. This is interesting, dude. I didn't think we were going to be coming back. Okay. And playing as John in this game when we started. I'm still sad about Arthur, dude. I... They let us know it was coming. We... We knew it was gonna be soon, but it didn't make it any easier. I just wonder what uh, Dutch and Micah and Bill and all those guys are up to. This must be it. Yeah, looks like we made it. Dude, I would love to live in a spot like this, completely secluded. Views of the mountains, have like a little lake or something. Cabin out here, this is nice. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot, <laughs> we'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. Uh oh. Hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. No way. Oh, here we go. That's my damn wagon. You ain't getting away with that. Can you catch the sailor? To stop the wagon, you can block its path or jump aboard with the horse. I say we just jump to it. Woo! This one's got a stone in his boot. And just like that, we got a job offer, baby. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. 
I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? Hm. No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would've robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a... a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank nice. you. Nice! You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Our little humble abode. I like it. Dude, this is nice. We'll take it. It's a good way to start fresh. Epilogue part one. The Pronghorn Ranch. Next morning, are you my steed, my trusty steed? I'm back, girl. What's up, girl? New horses are available for purchase. I don't know that we really need one right now, right off the bat. I'm happy with how she is. No, no. Is this the boss man? Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey. Hey! Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here. Something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Good old John Jim Milton. <laughs> oh, man. Almost got caught slipping there. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in uh, the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? <laughs> Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Once a bamf, always a bamf. Milk the cows. Sorry, girl. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. 
Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. From don't American gunslinger now. to a... She don't take too kindly to surprises. Cow milk and ranch hand, baby. Looking good, John. All right, push left or right to milk the cow. Almost got a pail full. Easy enough. Hey, Pop. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey. Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. I love that name. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. That's we right, all Jim. gotta earn our keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. You now, Lancelot. Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand? It's such a fine name. I like it. I got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Now it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it, won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Gonna have to scoop the poop, okay. baby. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close. This is you. ridiculous, dude. This ain't the life I was meant to be living. Look out. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Ugh. Hold on a moment. <sighs> Stinking piles of... This is what an honest life looks like out in the West, boys. Although I've got a feeling it's not gonna be like this for too long. Last piece. Ooh, this one's got flies all over it. Terror of the turf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. All right. So while we're doing all this, does she just get to hang out and do whatever she wants, or is she cooking for the farm and helping out, or what? Hey, 
Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Well, won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. It does make me happy to see that. It's not the most glamorous lifestyle, but it's better than being on the run. I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> All right, day two. We got paid three bucks, and now we're back at it. All right, what do we got going on? A couple of missions around the ranch. Who do we want to go see first? So we'll go over here. Morning, brother. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. <laughs> Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Well, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. All right. Now, lift up the other side. They got to line up, see? Now the next rail. Looking good. Fine. Good. And the final rail. Okay. And that's how you make a fence. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. <laughs> I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but... There's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Just an honest hard day's work. We made it pretty far there. We got a bull that Come on, son. Pissed off. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Uh, come on, move! Oh, oh! 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 shit! I'll get him! Use your lasso to catch the bull. No 
Oh, right through all my hard work. Okay. Come on. Let's talk. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no. Uh, no. I got a bill. No. It's quite obvious that I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. No, you don't. Dodge. Nope. Didn't dodge. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Come on, Fed. Come on, buddy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Come on, buddy. There, there. There. It's all right, buddy. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. Relax, my friend. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of chuck. This way. We did it. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. <laughs> what a life. Arthur would be proud. He really would. He would be so happy that we were raising our family and I'll get the coffee home. Having moments like this. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> get the place tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Another three dollars every day. I'm doing all right. Wouldn't this be an interesting game if this is all that Red Dead was? Like it was legitimately like a farmhand simulator. I would play that game. It wouldn't be as good, but I would play that game. That'd be funny. Damn it, Abe. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full. Sir. And no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find the right. horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss They're is gonna doing be in back. town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh, uh, okay then. All right, he'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. So we're gonna go teach this kid how to ride a Jim horse. 
pay. It's way too big for with him. that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. You done? Come on. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on, Easy. buddy. Easy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. All right. Gotta tire him out. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. I think Jeremiah's standing to calm enough for Duncan to ride. Let it rip, Come brother. On. Let it all out of Do everything you can. This makes me happy, just letting the horse run and do Come his on. thing. Through a deal. big, mean horse. He's loving us. All right. about done. I'm gonna start heading back All here. Right. Good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. You come through here. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony. But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask? No way. In trouble from all these we just boys? got our son a pony. They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Mill? He's doing a good job. I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. This is quite the setup they've got. Tons uh, of animals. Are you coming? So, nice you know land, much good about view. birthing a foal, Milton? Lots of barns Not and stables much. and stuff. Oh my god, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard, you just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh! Sure. Got him. Okay, now hold on. Careful. Good. 
It's happening. <laughs> okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> oh. I like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, wait a oh. second. You're married? Sounds inappropriate. I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Abigail's got way more class than you anyway, woman. No way I'd be fooling around like that. Alright. So I'd venture to say that that went pretty well. We're gonna head back home and maybe teach Lancelot how to ride a pony? Look at that little guy over there. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. <coughs> Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. We can do Let's that. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? A pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident. What a beautiful okay. father-son moment. Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Up a mic. Okay. Whoa. Don't let Jack go too fast. He may get bucked off the horse. I think that's a good speed. Just a peaceful father son ride through the woods to the stream. Taking it all in. These lavender fields. You know? This ain't so New bad, life sir. that we're living. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. It's peaceful, but I've got a feeling that uh, better than before. Keep at. We're gonna start having troubles with those Laramie boys. For sure, dude. They're they're gonna show up. Things are gonna hit the fan, and I don't know. We'll we'll see. No no way we're actually out of the woods yet. I'm getting there. Well, we made it to the stream. 
Here we are. Dude, it yep. is so beautiful out we here. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We oh. go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Race Jack back to the range. Should we let him win? I feel like we should definitely let him win. We're doing it, We boy. could beat him so easy. But I feel like we should let him win. I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna get out front. Hey, come back here. Dude, he can't even me. get around us and I'm trying to let him get around us. He takes the inside. Jack Marston. Lancelot Marston. Or Miller. <laughs> it's a mouthful of a name. Jim is trying to make the comeback here. Grabbing a draft. He takes the inside. Squeezes by. Oh no, but then he takes the inside back. Come on. too quick I can't keep up oh goodness he beat me I beat you I beat you I well beat... ridden son <sighs> I beat you like I said you're riding it's gotten so much better thanks hey keep practicing your riding you too you need it Oh, shoot. What's going on here? We got some gunfire happening. You want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. Oh, fancy pants get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, come on, get him. Get him. Oh, get his head in. Oh, oh it's, it's game time now. What's good? What's good? Come on. They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Uh. Oh, he's licking you, boss. Uh. Hey, boss. Boss, you need help? Why are you talking trash on the ground, bro? Although, I don't know if I would be beating him up when he has a gun and I don't. Get off that man. Get off He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> what you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy. Tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Oh, stop it's gonna me. happen. Goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. <sighs> she can't be mad at me about that. Is he antagonizing the other workers? Come on now. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. You toad. Hopefully we don't get caught by any uh do not embarrass by anyone me. soon. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I what heard we had here? another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. 
Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What was that? Here we go. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh my gosh, they've set the whole place on fire. You gotta do something. You open them by the stove. They got Tom. It's over. Oh. Find Tom Dickens. Who's this? New hand. That's right, baby. Where y'all at? Watch it burn. Yes, sir. Whoo! He's out. He's out. Oh, take your hat off, cowboy. Who are you? you look like a little licker out here. Oh, okay. He's getting some shots in. I lost my wind. You're good. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. <laughs> I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. I like the sound of that. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. And just like that, we're back in the I'm saddle, baby. Right. Let's get it. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah! Right, right out to Hanging Dog Ranch. Dude, I'm excited about this. I don't know if I can shovel shit any longer. It's about time we uh get back behind the, the butt of a gun, baby. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> Trust me, I'm an expert at That's this. the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. I just realized that John is wearing Arthur's hat. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle, and to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him! 
Well, I was hoping we had some dead eye, but I don't know if that's just an Arthur Morgan thing. Obviously, John eventually gets dead eye, but I'm not sure how to get it. Oh, we do. I tried to use it a second ago, and it didn't work. We we're still in the cutscene or something. Here we go, baby. Two more left up here. Definitely don't want to shoot our own cattle through these guys. Come on, baby. Look out! Let me deal with this. Come around this corner. Stop hiding behind the box. Be a man. There we go. Good night. Got a guy over here. Woo! He's down. I'm not gonna have to worry about him any longer. We're gonna have to get him a better rifle, man. It's a little bit slow on the, the balloon, but it's not the worst thing, I guess. We got one more guy. Guys, come out of the woodwork over here. Damn, Milton, you son of a bitch! I see you, Milton. You're gonna be sorry for what you've done. You're gonna pay, all right. You oh, am I? Your wife. You ain't so talky now, are you? Shoveling, backwoods, sack up, no good, stretch. Come on. Through the ladder, that's not fair. Hold on. Let's get in, get in fair territory. This dude can fight. Okay, here we go. This is where I like to be. I'm gonna make sure I go pick up Arthur's hat, too. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss-poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand! <laughs> You don't insult our girl like that. Uh, shit. Well, we came to get the cattle back. We ended up killing like 20 people. A day in the life of uh, John Marston. We're used to it. We got Arthur's hat back, man. <laughs> That's gonna make me cry. Looks like we got a couple weapons too. Definitely wanna go grab these. Up picking these up. Got a Springfield rifle. Alright. We're good. We're gonna ride back to Pronghorn. See what our boys are up to. We're back, fellas. Well, thank really you. Fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that won't work nothing. Well. You, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? 
What? <laughs> that face. What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? 